it's always fun when DHL drops off a package from my good friends at PCB Way. The beauty part is, you know, I get this in like four days. You just can't beat that. So what do we got today? Version 2 of our rocket launch boards. How cool is that? The Space E rocket launcher board uh, that I designed about a month ago, maybe two months ago, for my friend in Florida. This is an upgrade and uh, we are working together, we are collaborating on this to make it go together. He has some uh, additions and improvements he wanted, but basically just using the Arduino and a switch. When you push the switch, the Arduino counts down. When it's done, it is going to fire a relay. Pretty simple stuff, right? Not too bad. Here you can see the circuit board design. Pretty simple, kept it just under 100 millimeters so you know we can stay in the uh, cheap PC board manufacturing. We added the rounded corners and the mounting holes as requested. And then we can take a look at the 3D view. Our Arduino will go here have a battery indicator, power indicator, arm indicator because it's going to have this arming pin down here. Current limiting resistors for the LEDs, some contacts, button, Bob's your uncle, that's all she is to it. And this video is sponsored by PCBWay and I do highly recommend them for your uh, PC manufacturing needs. You can get five boards for five dollars in about a week. I mean, you just can't beat that. That's not counting the shipping, of course. You can choose different uh, shipping companies, different prices to fit that in there. In my experience, total cost for me is about $22 to get five boards in about five or six days, depending on what day of the week you order. But you can see the state-of-the-art equipment that PCBWay uses here, including, if you come down here, their inspection equipment. And you get free inspection of all your boards before they're sent out. They want to make you a happy PCBUA customer. All right, we're going to get started putting this board together with the uh, barrel jacks. We have one barrel jack on the top of the board for power. And we're going to use one barrel jack on the bottom of the board as an arming key. If that barrel jack is not in place, the board will not arm and it will not launch. So we'll get them on here. Get them nice and soldered in. And solder one in first of each one make sure that it's lined up where I want it then we'll check it you <laughs> can see that one's definitely not where I want it which is why I only do one at a time Now that's better, and I can solder in the other connections. Our right, next step is we're going to put in these headers for the Arduino, but I'm going to plug them into an Arduino first, and that way we know that our pin spacing is right and everything will line up just the way we want it to. Get one of these soldered in here.
There we go. Now I know that everything is lined up proper. I can solder all those in. Okay, next up we're going to do our fire control button. I'm going to tin these pads first. button to it. Hmm. Let me trim this a little bit. One second. All right, I trimmed those up. Let's see if we can't do a little better now. Yeah, I like that a lot better. They fit better. it again. Very good. All right, we got some resistors to put in next. Resistors, of course, are just for limiting the, uh, the current going through the LEDs, depending on what your uh, input voltage is. You know, anywhere from 220 ohms to 1K will be just fine. Be any problems there? Now you should, I mean, if you want to do it by the book, you should have a different value for each type of resistor because you're going. I'm going to use different color resistors, but you know what? They're only the only difference is maybe a volt. So I'm not going to be too worried about it. And there are LEDs. Alright, let me get them soldered in. Get a power switch. <laughs> Come on, fingers. Get that guy in there. it's sitting nice and flat which it isn't at the moment that's why we only do one at a time and once she's flat we can solder in the other ones with no trouble whatsoever and finally couple of headers all soldered up and ready to roll looks pretty good well when I went to test this I found a small error I had swapped the data and clock pins for the OLED so going to correct that right here All right, I soldered the first jumper right there, as you can see. So now if we touch here, this should clock it, or it should be a continuity at A4. 
good. So now we got to do the other one to make sure A5 is working. Then we should be fixed. Okay, I insulated the first jumper using this rubberized uh, liquid tape brush on insulation. So we're going to give that a good half hour or so to dry before I can move on and do the second jumper. All right. The uh, jumpers have been placed. I don't know why it won't focus. Come on. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. There we go. I guess that's as close as it wants to focus. Anyway, so now we should get a reading here off of A5. And we do. Alright, let's put in the uh, OLED and test it. Alright, she's a working. And that's really as far as I can test it here. I don't have the relay and all the other connections that Barry has down there in Florida. So we'll be sending some of these kits off to him and hopefully we'll hear back from him pretty soon. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks for watching. Big thanks to PCB Way for uh, sponsoring this video. That's it. I'm out. Peace.